In this video, we're going to be covering everything you need to know that I didn't talk about in the Brera Guide, which is some clear examples of how to work around your weaknesses. Now, there's other things that I've discovered in this guide as well about the build and how to play the champion, which I'm excited to share with you guys because I think it will help a lot when it comes to cleaning up the bad part of this champion's kit. Welcome to the rare analysis of this game. So in this game, we've got Draven, Nautilus, and we have an LeBlanc top. So very, very volatile side lanes and a neutral mid lane. Some long range trading. Yeah, that could happen. Maybe an all in from any, but other than that, not much. Didn't see. I'm doing my standard clear WE. I thought about actually two camping this game bot, but the fact that I clear so fast it just deterred me from uh, looking for a two camp bot. Because in all reality, Brer's main damage in a kit is going to be a QW, so actually level 2 ganks is probably something you're going to see in the future with this champ. If it becomes pro meta and pro play by worlds. But I noticed the Mumu leash, so my mentality is that I have red buff, he has blue buff, I am much stronger early game. I'm going to look for this regardless of any play safe or not. I'm just going to look to burn a flash. Ghost is a short cooldown, right? 170 seconds, so might as well use it. Look for a Mumu there. Pick up a free kill, look for a Mumu. And now we are moving towards top side because I'm looking for the dive because the Mumu no longer showed up here. Burn the flash, eat, channel my E to reduce the damage, and I die. So let's talk about that play for a sec. In this play, the reason why I died there is because I channeled my E for too long. I should just try to tap it and walk away. But with that being said, my champion's kit is really bad for diving in general. So I don't recommend diving at all unless uh, you're confident that you can dive. Because uh, whereas E is the only piece of like anything other than using your E is the only way you can cancel your W. You can't really start with E because then you just aggro onto the minions, right? So you always have to save E for cancellation and E keeps you stuck in place. So it's just really bad for tower dice. Even though E reduces the damage of one tower shot, if you can time it properly, it's not ideal. So in this play, I'm not even sure if I would have lived if I just tapped E, but regardless, this is going to give me a fast reset. So fuck it, but not, not the best. All right. So a doesn't show top side. Very suspect, but I'm just looking for Scuttle. I find him, chase him down. Obviously, you can see the strengths of Rare there. No, no other champ could do that. Just run something that maybe a Lee Sin could get close on that. But other than that, I can't think of any other, anyone else. Looking mid again because I don't see, don't see where the Rare um the Mumu is. I'm not willing to commit anywhere yet. The top is probably going to base or hide in the bush, so I'm just going to farm. You see a Mumu bot, so I assume he took my cap, so I'm going to react and take his top side here while he goes back to his bot side. Again, I see top is diable here. So let's see how I play this dive. I want to be going straight away. My bleed actually ends up killing him. I actually miss my E. But the reason why I don't wait for the minions, of course it would be safer to wait for the minions, but it's safer or it's more efficient to kill him as fast as possible. I spend less time, the Blanc spends less time waiting. 
I really gets denied more CS, right? If I just wait for the whole wave, she gets an extra two creeps. So that for me is like the difference, I guess. I guess that's for me it's the difference. So me going in, let's see if I could have played any better. Yeah. I probably could have I could have timed my bite for after. No, then I probably could have died, so... I think I played that... Hard to say perfectly, but... Pretty well, pretty well. Alright, we reset. We come back here. And I see bot lane hasn't based, so whenever, guys, whenever bot lane hasn't based after, like, 7 minutes... You know it's free kills, so... I'm skipping all my camps just because I know how fast these kills will be. I'm literally, god, I'm literally, I literally have 2,200 gold on this, on this Zeri right now, so. Beautiful, so, you can see here, I have what, like, literally 1.1 second to bite this guy. I bite at the last second, and then I'm able to channel my E and cancel Amumu's, um, bandage toss. So this is going to be a key move or key concept that you're gonna have to implement with Bra is her E usage. You can see here that with Bra, just like Cassante W, you want to be timing the CCs and when you think they're gonna engage on you or use their full burst damage, like for example, if any was to ult me, I would want to use my E at that exact time. So in this scenario, Damn, there you go. Beautiful by me. Follow up with the W. Auto, auto, W. Almost die. You can see I almost int, but I use my Q. Thankfully, my Q was actually up, otherwise, I'll be dead there. So, I'm just passing top here. In, actually, I go for the alt here because why not? I've already finished my two camps. And we clean up, get the flash at the same time. Beautiful. All right, what do you guys think I should have done better here? This is gonna be a quiz for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you knew what I could have done better here. Here we just win a 2v2. Actually, Brez super good at Torelia because when she wants the W, you can just charge your E and get a max damage E on the your target. Their bot lane actually comes for this top side play, but they don't have a ward on Herald, so I just start it straight away. Now we're getting everything on the map. We're getting bot plates and we're getting Herald. This, this game is snowballing out of control. He wants me to look for a top play again. I think this is a bit sus. Team at, so I teammate, auto W. Finish him off. Recall. Got my items. I thought he was on dragon. I actually had no map awareness here. I had no idea what was going on, but I just shot my shot, you know. He wasn't on dragon, unfortunately. But these are the type of Vex, uh, not Vex, Briar players that you want to do. When you're out of base, you kind of want to go for his Hail Mary ults, if uh, you can, just because... It gets you out of base faster, right? I see it as like a like an old Rex ITP. If you can get out on the map faster with your ult, why not? And you pick up a free kill, you know, perfect. So we three do we have three camps here. Let's see what we intend to do here. Looking for dragon. Oh. I get it stolen. I had no idea Jenna was here. I herald bot. Finish off the tower. I'm looking for the sick play here. 
see how they do. Now, should have tear matted there. Didn't didn't tear mat we'll strike breaker. And now we get 700 gold shot down. So that's gonna be a clear idea of what I mean by diving in is really hard. Because I'm stuck now. I can't go backwards anymore. Like this is it for me, you know. If I E there, I have to walk all the way out of tower range because you can't use your W to escape, guys. That's one of the biggest things that I didn't mention in the bro guide is you can't W away. You'll just re-aggro to the target that the next target. So I'll go back on the towel after jumping away. So I was fully committed there. So we farm again and we're out on the map. Miss my, oh, miss my ults. Keep thinking it's Vex. Get that cleanup kill. And one of the things I wanted to talk about with you guys is my build. So this is a really good build if you guys uh, are versing more than 2 AP. In this game I'm versing Umumu, Jenna, Vex, uh, Zeri, which all do a lot of magic damage. So Wit's End is going to be a really epic item for like, especially when you're fed. You're going to see later my on hit damage is insane. Let's see here. Let's see if I can show you guys. Oh, we gotta check out the highlight clip real, real fast. Alright, alright, I base the wits end. Here we go. Oh, that's more of a dive. Ooh, imagine if I team out of there. Damn. Big mistakes with my ult, uh, my, my strawberry breaker usage. I need to be using that strawberry breaker. Okay, I sure could have killed them though. Check that out. The blind rare roll. Bite his ass. Let's see. Are we working on the top tier 2 here? Clean bite. Hit the long range of exalt. I think this is... Uh, Whatever, it's pretty much Vexalt. You can see the damage right here, guys. Jesus Christ. See, now the game's pretty much over. Just highlights, but let's let's continue to see the highlights here. The the damage. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the other problem with Rare is see my auto retargets onto the tank and now four people are hitting me while I'm hitting the tank, you know. It's not the ideal situation, I must say. Also, we do bounce super easily because I've got on hit. I tried Shogun this game just for fun, but it's probably not good. Try to predict I really hits the wave, missed it. We found another target on our hands. Just 
Jesus, look at that damage, man. I know I'm up four levels or three levels, but still. That's insane how I just bite the heads off. Alright, that'll be it for today's bot review. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for my website coming out soon. I'm going to be putting out more bread content if I see anything new that I've discovered, because I think this champion will be buffed soon, again, because it's been nerfed. Uh, it's, sorry, it's got a low win rate, so whenever a champ has a low win rate, you know what Riot does. So this champ's going to be extra OP for a, a certain amount of time when they buff that champ until they realize it's too strong, so I think it's worth picking up.